Hello, I'm Def Lake. In this video, I'm going to show you my way of binding a book. First, get a piece of paper, fold it in half. Then just cut it in half. Once you cut it in half, then fold that piece of paper in half. And then keep doing that to all the sheets that you want to put into the little book thing. I've slotted about five per signature. About five or six, I can't remember. And then I just trim the little bit at the end. You don't want to put too much in per signature, otherwise it'll be too bulky. Get a ruler out. This is optional to how much, for example, I did like a few centimeters per gap. This is the markings to sew. more down so it's like straight 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 and along the edge just like mark it all down so they all have the same positions on the side. With a paper clip, I just paper clipped it so it will be all, it won't go everywhere. And then you just sew from the middle. From the centre piece of paper. Do a running stitch. Then once you've done the running stitch, go back on the stitches so you fill up the gaps. Then make sure you knot it at the end. Got a pair of scissors and cut the thread. Then once you've done that, all that to all of them, just sew per signature together, just sew from the middle and then sew it from the side. So you sew from the middle and then you attach knots on the side, on the outside. And then you just do that for all of them. Remember to not. To be able to make it extra secure, just knot them as well while you go along.
from the side into the center. It's probably best to make holes before you actually sew. It took quite a little, some effort to go through the paper. And this is just doing all. Then get a piece of paper, then make a little crease from the edge, and then for a few centimeters, get nice and boom. Make a strong crease. And then per side I did a few like about one or two inches. So this can be glued down onto that first and last piece of paper. And then just cut it. And then just glue, generous amounts of glue on it, and just stick it on. At some stage I stuck a ribbon at the edge. It's optional, but it's best to like, put a weight on it so it'll dry better. And I'm just like, just made a crease a bit more stronger. And then get a piece of card and then measure it. Marking down so you have excess. So it's slightly bigger than the actual paper, the actual bundle of tech, the text block, I guess. I think that's what it's called. Just use the ruler to make it straight, and then cut. Folding it along, and then make a crease, a strong crease on the side. Making the crease even stronger and then adding generous amounts of glue. One side at a time. And then once done that side, put it on the other side. Glue, 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 glue. Then on the side, on the cardboard, and fold on it himself, and stick a weight on it. Then I just like cut the corner and edge, like a little slit, and then fold it. Fold it on the white, put glue on it, put a weight on it, and put paper clips so it'll stay down there. And then I put just like sticky tape. So I can put another piece of paper on it, a colourful one. This is what it ended up looking like. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and like my Facebook page for more content.